This is my audience, my mom, dad, brother, and my brother's girlfriend, Britt. My name's Colin Baker, and I'm going to talk to you about healthy eating habits today. Okay, your body is like a machine. You wouldn't put sand or dirt in your gas tank, would you? So why would you put bad stuff in your body? It's the same basic concept. I'm going to teach you what I learned from my dad, and he knows a lot about it because heart disease runs in our family, <clears throat> so we need to know a lot about it. I'm going to teach you the benefits of maintaining a healthy diet as well as the consequences of maintaining an unhealthy diet. Alright, now some of the benefits. Eating healthy is the most efficient and easiest way to stay active and shield diseases that are common as you grow older, including heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. By maintaining a healthy diet, you are boosting your energy levels, improving your bodily functions, and helping to improve your immune system. If you combine a healthy diet with regular exercise, you will end up leading a longer and more vibrant life. <clears throat> you will enjoy life more and have more energy to face your daily tasks. Eating healthy can reduce your stress levels, and combining this with daily exercise, you will increase this effect even more. You will have better sleep and wake up more rested. If you are overweight, you will lose weight and keep it off. The reason a lot of fad diets don't work is because they lose the weight and then uh, once they go back to their normal eating patterns, they gain it right back. This can be very discouraging. Now I'm going to teach you the difference between good foods and bad foods. First, the bad. Saturated fat, which is a type of single bond animal or vegetable fat, as that is found in butter, egg yolks, coconut, or palm oil. It tends to increase cholesterol levels in the blood. And cholesterol, which builds up in your arteries and causes them to be inflamed. These things can cause strokes, heart disease, and high blood pressure. Processed flour and too much sugar and smoking can cause things like cancer and diabetes. Some examples of foods that are good for you, as well as delicious, are unsaturated fats, whole grains, fruits and vegetables, lean fish, grilled chicken, non-fat dairy, and egg whites. Exercise, of course, is an important role, as I said, in addition to maintaining a healthy diet. Muscle exercises, from my personal experience, will make you want to crave more healthy food because your body's running better and it doesn't want stuff that'll mess it up. Aerobic exercises, which are good for your heart and lungs, like running, kayaking, riding your bike, things like that. If you want to learn the perfect workout routine, you can watch one of my other speeches at YouTube at youtube.com slash watch question mark V equals UK nine zero V E U hyphen B N eight. <coughs> now a little about the food pyramid. You've got your six main food groups grains, vegetables, fruits, oils, dairy, and proteins. Grains such as cereal, breads, pastas, crackers, and rice all fun fall under this category. Whole grains can be found especially in oatmeal, brown rice, grits, corn tortillas, and whole wheat bread. Six to eleven servings are recommended per day. And then you got your vegetable group. Three to five servings are recommended per day. And if you wake up in the morning and drink a glass of V8, that's two servings right there. So V8's a good idea. <coughs> they may be fresh, frozen, canned, or juiced. Anything from corn, broccoli, carrots, etc. They're all good. You can't miss. Fruits. These include apples, oranges, plums, bananas, etc. Fruits are low in calories and fat and have a source of natural sugars. Fiber and vitamins. They can be fresh, frozen, canned, dried, pureed, or juiced best to consume two to four servings of fruit in a day. Oils. Oils include fats, wheats, cooking oils along with some good fats found in items like peanut butter and fish. You should eat these sparingly about one to two servings per day. And then you got your dairy group. Dairy products are produced from the milk of mammals, usually cows, but not exclusively. Some examples include milk, yogurt, and cheese. Milk and its products are a rich source of calcium, but also provide protein, phosphorus, vitamin A, and vitamin D. 
However, many dairy products are very high in saturated fat, which is bad. And also cholesterol. Compared to vegetables and fruits and whole grains, which is why skim products are available as an alternative, like skim milk and uh, skim milk products. Three cups of dairy products are recommended per day. Proteins. Meat is a good source. Meat is the tissue, usually muscle, of an animal. Since most parts of many animals are edible, there are a lot of different kinds of meat. Meat is a major source of protein, as well as iron, zinc, and vitamin B12. Meats, poultry, and fish include beef, pork, salmon, tuna, and shrimp. Eggs, spices, and herbs are also in this group of proteins. However, since many of the same nutrients found in meat can also be found in foods like eggs, dry beans, nuts, uh, these foods are all are in the same category as proteins, and they're good too for meat alternatives. These may include tofu products that resemble meat or fish, but are made with soy, eggs, and cheeses. The meat group is one of the major compacted food groups in the food group pyramid. Although meats provide lots of energy and nutrients, they are often high in fat and cholesterol, and can be high in sodium. Simply trimming off fatty tissues can go a long way towards reducing this negative effect. Even so, large portions of meat are not recommended. Two to three ounces per day of meat or alternatives are recommended. This is three to five servings per day. For those who don't consume meat or animal products, meat analogs, tofu, beans, lentils, chickpeas, nuts, and other high in protein vegetables make up this food group as well. Once you implement a healthy diet, you will be surprised at how fast you will start reaping these rewards. The benefits of eating healthy will continue to reward you for the rest of your life. Very good.